Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and today we're going to cure Swamp Fever and get the Steam Achievement Cure All Diseases. Now we recently come off the back of defeat in the Overseer and as you can see at the volcano behind me we've now got this cool effect floating around here just representing the Overseer. And one of the things I didn't show you in the recent series we did with the tribe was we actually used rafts and put foundations down on top to completely cover the top of the volcano. And that's a really good idea if you're going to tackle this boss. I must admit uh, that was a new one to me. So I learned a few tricks from the tribe itself. So go and check out that series if you haven't already. But one of the reasons I'm back here is I need to do a mind wipe tonic because I was recently in the swamp cave just yesterday trying to get this achievement and I'm wondering it was down to two things as to why I couldn't do it. It was either down to the amount of fortitude we had or the fact that I was wearing a gas mask. Now I have got some images of when I was in the cave yesterday and as you can see I quite clearly got a diseased leech and it did attach itself but it didn't give me the swamp fever so I don't know whether that was down to me having a high amount of fortitude because I pumped quite a lot into that as we was fighting the overseer just to withstand the hypothermic insulation but clearly I tried this a few times and I just couldn't get infected with swamp fever so now we've done that I've crafted up some scuba gear we're going to go back in and try that and we're also going to try it with zero fortitude and we'll, I'm sure we're going to unlock that steam achievement. We're just going to head over to the swamp cave which is just in the middle of the redwoods just down at the beautiful lake that's there. So I'll see you when we get there. So here we go this is the entrance to the swamp cave I'm just outside it here that's quite easy to find it's just behind the lake at the redwoods and First off, I'm going to use a gas mask. Now, I'm wondering whether the gas mask was what was stopping us getting infected. I couldn't see anything on the Reddit posts and I have looked everywhere about this. I uh, couldn't really figure out why. So, we'll try it with the gas mask first, see if we can get infected. And then after that, I've got a spare set of scuba gear. Now, I've done this cave a few times. I'm going to use my Megatherium. But I've done this with a high leveled frog and in the complete series we did it with a baryonyx so it's really your creature of choice that you're going to bring inside here but the megatheriums certainly make short work of bugs. So let's find a disease leech. Okay so I've got one here I think I actually tagged it with the shotgun when I shot into a bunch by mistake. I think it's just running away from me because it's slightly damaged but hopefully it'll heal up a bit and then come and attack me. Now if we do get infected and we're wearing this gas mask we'll know that it was down to fortitude so I just wanted to test that first and hopefully this one attacks me because the disease leeches are actually quite rare. And the best place to find them, I think, is in this swamp cave. And there we go. So it just attached itself to me and I haven't contracted the swamp fever. So it really must be down to this gas mask. And uh, we'll try this again wearing the scuba outfit. So I'll try and find another disease leech. Okay, I'm just dragging a few out of the swamp here. And I think I can see a red one at the front. There we go, that's a diseased one and we've got swamp fever so there you go the reason I wasn't able to get it before was literally down to using a gas mask that must make you completely immune and I guess just on the outside chance that having very high fortitude can also stop the disease we do have 0% fortitude here May as well grab this while I'm here. I've got an anti saddle, but we won't be taking it anything forward onto scorched earth. So this gets outside, and I'll show you how to cure swamp fever, and we'll get that achievement. Oh, something's attacking Chonking Cat. Ah, oh, it's a Philo. I left him on passive. Go on, Sage. 
it's actually meant to be Sage and Onion I meant to have named this, but... Stupid Philo. There we go. So curing the disease is as easy as using the lesser antidote. Just gamma up there. Now, we can use Wyvern milk if you're on Ragnarok as well. That would have the same effect that cures diseases. But there we go. We've just unlocked the achievement via Steam. You can see I've now got the cool vampire eyes skin. Now you can win that skin, of course, on the Halloween event, but now it's permanently unlocked. And uh, we can use that skin anywhere we go. But before we get away, I'm just going to show you guys how to get rid of leeches. And I'll just make a campfire. It's just as easy as standing in the campfire. And we'll get rid of it. So that's all there is to it. And the thing that's been stopping me from grabbing that achievement has been the gas mask. I knew I was doing something wrong. Now I've literally only got one more achievement to unlock to 100% arc. And that's the zoologist one. There's only a couple of creatures that I've not tamed. And I'm not sure if the titanosaurus is part of that achievement. I'm not usually an achievement hunter, but... I thought I was almost there. We've just done pretty much one of the ones that I was missing was Ascend on Beta level. And I've only done it on Gamma and Alpha. And there we go. Just standing in the fire. Gets rid of the leech. So there you go. That's how you cure all diseases and get that achievement. Of course, without cheating and I do find that I did look on some of these guides myself to see if I was doing something wrong and they all suggest typing in a code but I mean where's the sense of achievement in doing that so if you want my advice go into the swamp cave and you clearly need to have some scuba gear and not be using the gas mask and I'm still yet to decide whether fortitude makes a difference, but it, it might make a difference. So if you've got a very high fortitude and it's still not working, perhaps try doing the mind wipe. But I'm James from Complete Games. That's how you get the cure-all diseases achievement. And until next time, I'll see you.